Also at the climate conference, youth groups from around the world have been putting pressure on negotiators to take action. Members of the Canadian Youth Delegation and the Indigenous Environmental Network held actions to bring attention to tar sands projects and the effect on climate and their communities. We're joined now by Crystal Hajar with the Canadian Youth Delegation. She's in Durban. Welcome to FSRN. Yes, hi. Tell us where you are right now. Um, right now I'm at the Durban Exhibition Centre by the uh, ICC where the negotiations are happening. What are the messages that you are sending to the Canadian leadership there in Durban at the talks? Um, so uh, we as Canadian youth, we feel that our government has been bought by the oil and gas industry and uh, they've been lobbying on their behalf. And in fact, our government announced at the beginning of the negotiations that it will be lobbying on behalf of uh, uh, the tar sand, the most destructive uh, mining industries in in the world, in northern Canada, and um, uh, they uh, the government supports this industry and gives them money, uh, like in in terms of oil, uh, in terms of taxes and tax breaks and subsidies. So what we are demanding was that our government um, looks at, puts people before polluters and lobbies on behalf of of the people so that we can have a fair um, agreement on, on greenhouse gas emissions instead of not committing to a second uh, commitment to Kyoto as our government is doing. And what other actions has your delegation there, the Canadian Youth Delegation, taken part in in Durban? So, yeah, our Canadian, uh, the Canadian Youth Delegation have actually been... Uh, have done uh, multiple actions uh, in the, uh, over the last two weeks. So uh, we uh, at the beginning uh, of uh, of the week we started uh, by launching our new negotiators uniform. So we had um, in uh, suits that were all uh, decorated by the logos of the oil and gas companies, and uh, we launched them as being the negotiators to to support the fact that our government's lobbying on behalf of of oil and gas industry and not of the other people. Um, uh, and then uh, uh, we also had an event to buy back our future. So uh, we, our messaging around that was that we, ha- we had a big sale where we collected money and our messaging around it was that um, if the government, uh, the government seems to be speaking the language of money and listening to those who have the money. So if the oil industry can buy our government, then why can't we? And we were, it uh, was in, uh, um, basically like the idea to, say that the youth want to collect money and give it to the government so they can buy their future back. And uh, there were some uh, actions going simultaneously in Canada and where the money was actually mailed to the prime minister. And also last Wednesday, as uh, six people of our delegation stood up and turned their back to Canada as our, uh, as the, the environment minister started his speech uh, here at the, at the plenary. Um, also, the uh, the messaging was to um, to basically say that uh, our government is not uh, does not represent represent the voices of the people. Have you received any statement or response to your demands or actions from delegates there? Um, uh, well, uh, yesterday there was a slight change in the um, sort of. The way our government says its messaging around the uh, around these negotiations, um, we have demanded a meeting with our minister, which we would not, which we did not get. Uh, so, uh, but we have we didn't really get any direct responses from, uh, like uh, specifically about the actions from from the government. The negotiations are still ongoing there in Durban, South Africa. The exact outcome is unclear as of now. What would you and your organization like to see come from this? And and as you return home, how do you see your efforts moving forward on climate change? Well, uh, um, the general the general sense around the, the negotiations has been that uh, there there isn't much progress done on. Um, Having having uh, like a an ambitious agreement, I guess um, the negotiations. Like the, uh, what, what's important, what's really important for us as the Canadian youth is to take this back home and to follow up on our actions. So uh, it's um, it's 
uh, we we don't the, uh, regardless of what the 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 final outcomes of this of these negotiations when we uh, if it's not followed followed by action at home whether it's for us or other places like it, it's not get, it's not going to uh, it's not going to be effective because the go- our government signed previously on an agreement and on a legally binding agreement and did not did not follow th- follow through with it so for us regardless of the of the outcome of the negotiations we want to make to pressure our government to change its policies back home Crystal Hajar is with the Canadian Youth Delegation. She joined us from the Climate Conference in Durban, South Africa. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks for talking to us.